A special meeting was held today to discuss issues that have cropped up due to the Umahoyo project. Addressing a media briefing in Colombo today, Chairman of CAFE organization Kirti Tenekun made some startling revelations regarding the corruption behind the Umahoyo project. In 2004, in 2005, a Canadian company by the name of Dublin did a cost estimate for the Umauya project. Local irrigation experts, environmentalists and administration officials were consulted during this process. They proposed alternative routes for this project. According to the Canadian company, the project estimate was 155 million US dollars. The Umayo project began as a magnificent project for the Rajpaksa administration and they said water will be taken to drought-affected Monaragala and Hambantara areas. By 2008, estimates were prepared by both local and Iranian teams. This estimate was 300 million US dollars. Within a span of four years, the estimated cost rose from 155 to 300 million US dollars. Adius Gunabodhara was the Secretary of Irrigation at that time. Uma Oya is a project created to earn massive commissions. The brains behind this project remain in the country. This should be investigated. The estimate submitted to the Cabinet in 2008 by engineers and technical officers was 548 million US dollars. The subject minister when the project was launched was Tamal Rajapaksa. On the 12th of April 2011, environmental offices were forcefully opened and the environmental impact reports were signed and certified on that day. It was a public holiday. The president then tells ADS Gunavardhana to sign this agreement with the Iranian officials in front of my eyes. Gunavardhana opposes this move and adds a line to the project. The line says the project will move ahead, subject to estimates being prepared after an assessment report is created. ADS Gunavardhana eventually resigned. The next secretary who took up the post signed the agreement. When inquired, the then chairman of the Central Environmental Authority, Dr. Charita Herat, notes that he could not make a statement without revisiting the long-term impacts of the project. Mahindu Rajpaksa has become the scapegoat for everything. They say I am to blame for the Mitha the Mullah and Umayya project. Saitam is also my fault. I am everywhere. I don't know if they will blame serious issues on me. The marriage of the UMP and the SLFP will not work out.